And the Joey Jones Show coming to you from Mugshot's Grill and Bar on Airport Boulevard. How many tackles is Enrique Williams averaging per game? 9.4 is your answer in, uh, among the leaders in the Sun Belt Conference. And boy, what an asset he has been. Uh, and you talked about Jake Johnson. Uh, we were talking about that in the break. Uh, he actually got a chance to go up to that game at Davy, didn't he? Yeah, he came to the game. It was a real, actually surprised. He walked up to me on the sidelines. Whoa, Jake, I hadn't <laughs> seen him. And it was great to see him. He, he, he's a uh, South Alabama Jaguar through and through. Sure. Really pulling for our team. And glad to see Jake. Uh, he's such a great linebacker for us last year. And Enrique has, has stepped into Jake's shoes and filled them. Done, right. done a real good job. Uh, had a great last two or three games, especially. No doubt about it. All right, let's talk about the Warhawks from Louisiana Monroe coming into Land People Stadium tonight. And we don't talk a lot about their defense specifically, so let's do that right now. What kind of defense do they run? You know, they're very multiple. They uh, they probably have more movement and blitzing and uh, twist than any team we're, we're going to play all year long. Mm -hmm. they, they, they're they very multiple up front. Uh, so you better be on your P's and Q's on, on, on the offensive line and offensive line. Has certainly been in the film room a good bit this week, and the coaches have been in the film room a good bit because they really are multiple defense. But 30 points a game, so you know they are uh, they're able to be scored on. We, we're going to have some chances tonight. Well, I hope so. If we execute and do our part, we should have that. We're going to have to beat man coverage, and I think that uh, you know they they're going to press us, they're going they're going to get up in our face, and they're going to blitz people. So we better win at the receiver position tonight. And those numbers skewed a little bit because they had the unfortunate uh, problem of playing Oklahoma and Baylor. So uh, yeah. <laughs> those two teams tend to put some points on you. Oh, uh, yeah. They seem to be pretty good on third down, too. They get off the field pretty well. Is it just uh, they know how to play on those downs? Yeah, they, they have throughout the year. In the last week against Arkansas State, they did, didn't do it as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, they, they've been a pretty good third down team. And I thought they uh, do a good job coaching and making the right calls on defense to give themselves a chance. All right, so for us offensively, what do we need to do to get clicking tonight? Well, I, you know, like I mentioned earlier, receivers got to get off man coverage. And then I think we've got to not only know who to block on the offensive line, but we got to do a good job blocking them. You know, you kind of get caught up in the deal where, oh, I'm, I'm to my man, I got the right guy, and that's enough. Well, you got to take him, you got to block him. Right. It, whether it's pass protection, whether it's run, we got to be physical once we get there. If we, if we get physical with them, I think we have a chance to run, run and throw the ball. Yeah, and with guys like Woodson and Denham out, we've had to, to reach into the depth chart a little bit. Yep. We're better equipped to do that this year than we were last year, obviously, aren't we? Yeah, we have more depth. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. You miss those guys for sure. <laughs> you know, Danny Woodson and all the big plays he's made. Uh, the last couple of games he was there, you know, he had three catches over 40 yards, and so he can change the game for you. But we have other guys we can count on, and uh, they're going to have to step up here tonight. Yeah, and offensively, too, we jump on somebody. We saw it against Kent State. Mm -hmm. we, we can get some early early points. That just makes everything uh, better, easier, uh, you know, men mentally. That's where you want right. to be. Yeah, and I think we haven't really played a complete game offensively. Uh, other Kent State, I thought we did. Um, we, we kind of uh, play maybe three quarters and not so good another quarter or two and two. And so we need to put a full game together offensively. I think, I think we can execute. Last week we had guys open. We dropped some passes. We mm -hmm. missed guys. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the right things. We just got to make the play. I'll tell you what, we're going to be scary when we put four yep. quarters of no offense doubt. together. There's no, no doubt, doubt about that. All right, let's do our Mobile Gas player profile right now and check in with a senior tight end from Tuscaloosa. Here's more from Jared Palmer. Every guy wants to be a star. I mean, that's what we play the game for. But special teams, you have to be, you know, for the team in order to give you your best effort every single snap. My first instinct is I want to, you know, I want to go knock someone's head off. But also, you got to keep your head on the swivel because they're trying to protect their, their, their players as well. I was a bully, but um, I guess being a baby, you learn uh, how not to get in trouble from your older siblings, so it was an experience. The last two years, I've really um, gotten closer to Christ, and um, in my heart, I felt like my mission is to serve, so um, to go on a mission trip would, you know, I would definitely lay down some foundation. Uh, for generations to come, especially in my family, taking that, that step in life. 